everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Chris and for my video today I am doing a tag video before I get started into that and explaining it all to you I just want to take a moment to take care of some business and that business is of course if you are a subscriber yay you and if you are not please consider subscribing I do videos once a week or more on luxury items like shoes and handbags things like that so if that is something that appeals to you you should definitely subscribe it's free it's easy you hit the subscribe button right there and if you want to be notified for any of my uh, new videos you can definitely hit the bell and you'll be notified and uh we'll be good to go okay so that's it for the business and so now i want to explain about my tag video so i was doing some shopping a couple days ago online and yeah i shop online every day let's be honest so uh this was nothing new however that particular day i was looking at the tory birch website and they have a fantastic shoe sale and i was scrolling down looking at all the beautiful shoes and i noticed right away that there was this shoe that had the name penelope and i was like oh wow look at that they named a shoe after my cat and yeah i know they didn't really name it after my cat but my channel is named after my cat and hold on a second I'll show you my cat Oop. here she is right here her name is Penelope she absolutely loves and detests the camera and I have about three seconds before she squirms away but anyway she is Penelope so I like to think because she's a bit of a diva that people name things after her which I know they don't really but hey I live in like an imaginary fantasy world so anyway I got to thinking so they have these shoes named after Penelope maybe they have other things named after Penelope so I went on to Nordstrom.com and I did a search and sure enough I got 25 things named Penelope by designers and I was looking at them I'm going some of these things are really really awesome I would like these things and then one thing led to another and I thought it would be really cool if we did a tag video where people searched either their name or their channel name or you know their nickname whatever and came up with a bunch of different items for the tag and what kinds of luxury items you might like to buy that were named after you so to speak so that is what I did and that's what this tag is all about today so I'm going to start with of course the item that I mentioned which was the Tory Burch shoes they are called the Penelope shoes they come in a couple different incarnations there's like a cap toe pump simple pump and then there's also a sling bag it comes in multiple colors there's like an ombre style etc but the one that really caught my eye was a sling bag which is a sort of a fabric comes in black and it has faux pearls on it which I thought were really pretty so that these little circular fringy designs with the little faux pearl inside there they're a two and a half inch heel and they just look really festive really cute really comfortable and I thought to myself I can picture myself in these on Christmas Day I'm done cooking the doorbell is going to start ringing any minute I'm going to kick off my ugly slippers and I'm going to put on some really cute shoes and these would be the perfect shoes to put on because you just slide them right on they're not too high they look really festive they look really cute and you're comfortable but at the same time you look like you really tried and made an effort for Christmas Day or for New Year's Eve or for New Year's Day whatever the occasion is so I really do like these Penelope pumps now when I was looking at them initially they were not on sale but now they're on sale I think they're like 40 or 50 percent off so a really good value and you can get them on the Tory Burch website you can also get them on the Nordstrom web website and again I mentioned that there are a couple different incarnations of them but these are the ones right there that I really do like because they're a little bit more fancy and I think they're perfect for the holiday season okay the next item that I want to talk about is lipstick so this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I have never tried Charlotte Tilbury before Tilbury before but they, it is all over the place it's all over YouTube everybody loves it and when I saw this I knew I had to get it it is called Penelope pink and there it is it is a very neutral color you can see it's a pinky nude color and it says that it looks good on everybody's complexion so it's kind of a universally flattering pink or nude color and I have to be honest I bought it 
because it was called Penelope Pink. Now, I'm not really big into nude lipsticks. I'm not even wearing it right now. And the reason is that on camera, when I wear a nude lipstick, I look very washed out and pale because that's my complexion. Occasionally, I do wear nude lipsticks. It's not my favorite. It's not my go-to. However, I know there are plenty of people out there who look fantastic in a nude lip and more power to you. I'm just not one of them. But I do like this lipstick for a couple of reasons. Number one, the packaging is gorgeous. Look at it. It is rose gold. It is this bullet shape, you know, and it has this beautiful gleam to it. And I could just picture myself sitting at lunch, you know, take this out of my purse, my Chanel, put it on and you just look so fancy and so chic and sophisticated, right? And it is delicious. It smells like, it tastes kind of like cocoa, and it also is really, really creamy and slides on beautifully. So I do like the formula. I do like the flavor. I do like the packaging. I'm not 100% on board with the nude color, but hey, it's Penelope Pink and I had to get it, right? Why not? So that is the second item, Penelope Pink Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, the third item is a pair of sunglasses. These are from Tom Ford. They are called Penelope, of course, and they are mostly round, but you can see that they're sort of a, a nod to cat's eye because they have that little bit of pointiness up here in the temple. They come in a couple different colors as far as the lenses go. You can get it in amber lens or you can get it in a gray lens. I probably would get it in the gray lens. They're a little pricey. They're, you know, four or $500, but all the same, they're really good sunglasses and I think it's worth it to get a really good pair of sunglasses not only because they look super chic but also because they protect your eyes really well. Now if I were in the market for a pair of sunglasses I would definitely be checking these out. However, I just got a new pair recently and so I'm not going to be buying them right now. However, I will have them on my wish list because I really do like them and I really do think they look very chic, very comfortable and I think they will probably flatter everybody's face shape because they are that that rounder shape with that little bit of exaggerated cat's eye thing going on there. And I really do like them. So those are the Tom Ford Penelope sunglasses. Next up is a bag. Of course, I had to do a bag. This is from Longchamp and it is a tote bag. They have two options for the Penelope bag in Longchamp. One is a crossbody bag with a flap and a tassel and the other one is the tote bag. I kind of opted for the tote bag because I feel like a tote bag is more me. I don't really do crossbodies and it's really beautiful. It has two little tassels on the side. It has a zipper on the top. It comes in a couple different colors. There is a beautiful saddle color, which is what I'm featuring here. There's a darker brown. There's a black. I saw it in navy. I saw it in burgundy. So it must be a really popular tote. So forgive my ignorance if I am not familiar with the Penelope tote, but I can see why it's so popular. In fact, this one that I have showing here is already sold out on Nordstrom.com but it looks really, really beautiful. It looks very chic, very functional. You can put it over your shoulder. It's like the perfect tote bag. And of course, Longchamp has a reputation that just can't be beat. So I would definitely consider, if I was looking for a tote bag, to get the Penelope tote bag. I really do like this one and I can see myself carrying this, absolutely. And it's very sophisticated, much like Penelope herself. Okay, my next item, and I think I saved the best for last year, is this dress. So, again, I was not familiar with this brand. It is called Nanushka, and I don't know if it's a designer or if it's a person, but either way, I'm going to keep my eye on Nanushka because the things that I saw when I searched this were amazing. I really do love the styles of the dresses, and this particular dress, the Penelope dress, is the bomb. It is gorgeous. Look at it. It is faux leather, which is really nice for uh, people who don't do leather. It is this beautiful burnt orange color. It has this wrap around it with this belt. It's got a sheath style. It's midi length, but at the same time, it has this really sexy slit right here. It's faux leather. It just looks super, super luxurious and expensive. In fact, to me, it looks iconic. And it reminds me of a dress that's iconic that would be associated with the movie. So like I can imagine, a romantic comedy where the leading lady is walking down the street wearing this fabulous Nanushka dress and she's got her Birkin and her Tom Ford Penelope sunglasses and she's walking down the street on the phone and she smashes right into the leading man who probably spills coffee all over her faux leather dress but hey it doesn't matter because she can just wipe it clean because it's faux leather right 
So I have this whole thing going on in my head about how this could be the most iconic dress, kind of like, uh, you know, in Pretty Women, Pretty Woman, when Julia Roberts was wearing that brown dress with the white polka dots, iconic, right? And then there is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days with Kate Hudson and that beautiful yellow gown that she had on. Like when you think of that movie, you immediately picture her in that dress. And that is how I feel about this dress, this Nanushka Penelope dress. I feel like it could just be that iconic dress is so beautiful that it could be in a movie. So although I don't know <laughs> the brand, I am hooked and I really, really think that I probably will be keeping my eye on Nanushka because I love this dress and I think it's just gorgeous. So those are my five items. I had shoes, a bag, sunglasses, a purse, no, not a purse, a dress, and lipstick. I could be all dressed from head to toe in Penelope. It would be amazing. And it would all be a tribute to my Penelope right here because she's so cool and so sophisticated. Hmm. All right. <laughs> So that's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really, really would like it if you did the tag. I would be so excited to see what you guys come up with if you're searching your name or your channel name or your nickname or whatever name you, you want to search that you relate to and I think would be really, really fun. So don't forget to do the tag. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ask me any questions you like. If you have any suggestions for Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, don't forget to leave them down below. And until my next video, thank you for watching and take care.